Hey guys, Darius Doctor here and talking about Neocom Essentials. Now, getting around easier is all the Neocom is about. Now, things to keep in mind about this video, these are my opinions. Take them for what they're worth. Second is, these opinions are informed. I've spent a lot of time teaching new bros. This is the advice I consistently give others. Um, you don't have to follow this advice. There's many ways to play this game. But these are just options. And you can find your own way to make the most of these. You can change the default bindings at any time. You can always change your behavior. Just observe what I'm telling you through the lens that I'm trying to help you. Now, my Neocom is something I'm going to show you here to give you an example of how I've set it up and to explain my behavior when I play the game. So here I am sitting in 1DQ, which is, you know, one of the uh, central systems for Goonsworm Federation. I don't think that's a you know, secret. But you can see here that I've stretched out the Neocom to its maximum size based on the scaling of my display. And you can see the icons are quite large. Normally, the size of my Neocom, uh, the ribbon on the left-hand side of the screen here with the icons, that's a quarter of the size you see it reflected at here. Do keep in mind, though, that I'm playing on a 30-inch display. Now, let me explain what these icons mean. First is people and places. I spend a lot of time looking people up, whether it's for INN interviews or to talk to them about um, various in-game matters or just to research somebody that I'm shooting at in space. Fitting management, because, well, I do a lot of theory crafting and managing my own fits. Contracts, you know, for buying and selling to my corporation or alliance or other people. Fleet, because definitely part of playing EVE is getting out there to pew-pew. Map, because, well, where are you going to go pew-pew if you don't know how you're getting there? The ship tree for research and deciding what I want to fly. The corporation window for corp management, recruiting, those kinds of things. Planetary management for making money. And the mining ledger so I can keep track of how much ore I've mined and where I've mined it and how much I'm selling it for and so on. You know, useful things. Calculator, because well, calculating making money is a big part of, you know, figuring out where I'm being most efficient. Notepad, because, well, it's super effective. The activity tracker, which is really just good fun and inspiration when I'm trying to decide to go do something I haven't done in a while and see where my character, you know, I may have done things in the past, but they're not reflected, so maybe I'll go do them again. And the agency, when I need something to do. And, of course, chat windows, which are presently hidden because of reasons. Now, you'll notice a couple of things about this as I go forward, but I didn't have a lot of the super common elements like character sheet uh, in my Neocom, and there's a good reason for that, which I'm about to explain. Also, I will say I apologize. I sound super stuffy right now. It's because I'm currently fighting off a cold. I have it outside like garbage, but continuing. The reason you don't see a lot of those common windows in my Neocom is because I use hotkeys for damn near everything. Never not use hotkeys. Learn them, live them, love them, honestly. They will help you with your gameplay enormously. Now, keeping in mind, if using a mouse is your only option or you are dealing with um, physical disability, medical issues, uh, vision problems, um, anything of that nature, there are a ton of differently abled people who play this game. There are people who play Eve who are blind, deaf, mute you know somebody tells me they legitimately can't get on comms because they can't speak you know it amazes me and i think it's awesome that um there are hundreds of ways for people to adapt to playing this game so where i went back to this being my opinions keep in mind that this is meant for the largest possible number of viewers and i'm trying to make this broadly accessible so if you have the ability to use hotkeys and you're not using them or learning to use them, I personally feel that's a little bit lazy. To be clear, items in my Neocom are menus or windows I use infrequently or frequently, but that I do not rely on all the time because I use I don't use my mouse for everyday things. I'm predominantly using hotkeys. Windows I rarely use live in the Neocom hamburger menu. The hamburger menu, by the way, is that Eve E-shaped icon at the very top of the Neocom right above your character portrait. If you click that, 
all the other windows that you want to have access to, they're in there. And you can add any one of those windows or or, or mini programs, if you want to think of them that way, to your Neocom ribbon at any time just by right-clicking on them and saying pin or by dragging and dropping them where you want them to be. Now, these are the hotkeys I recommend you use most often. They're the ones I use most often. And almost all of these are the default bindings that come with the game. First is Alt-A. This is the active character sheet. It's the character you're currently playing in the window you have open. Control-B makes a bookmark. Alt-C opens your cargo holder, your inventory. Alt-D is your directional scanner. Alt-F is your fitting window. Alt-P is your probe scanner. And I will note that the directional scanner and probe scanner only work when you're in space. Alt-W is your wallet. Alt-Y is used for redeeming your items. You know, you'll notice I've highlighted the key letter in each of these to help get into your memory. This is strictly a mnemonic technique um, to help you remember. Uh, but all of these should be ones you're using already. Now, if you hold Alt and click at something in your overview and you're in space, your camera will detach from your ship and zoom in on the item that you're choosing to look at. This also works if you hold Alt and click on it in your, in your HUD. Control and click locks that thing as a target. S and click warps you to it. D and click warps you to a structure in your overview and allows you to dock with it or jump if it's a stargate. W and click tells your ship to orbit it at your default orbit distance, whatever that may be. If you launch drones, pressing F will cause them to fight. And holding shift and pressing R will return those drones to the drone bay. Alt and S opens your science and production window. And Control F9 gets rid of the HUD, basically all the chat windows and menu bars and everything, so that you can take pretty, pretty pictures. Control W closes any active window that you have up, which is basically the one that's at the top. And if you want to close all your windows, it's Control Alt W that's closing all your windows. I hope that this list has been helpful for you. And I hope that seeing how I've laid out my new com helps you to make sense of what's important to you, but you don't necessarily access immediately through hotkeys. This is just the recommendation that I make to new players. You don't have to do it this way. You're not obligated to follow my advice. You can find your own way, but you will find that you can keep the clutter of the Neocom down if you only use your Neocom ribbon for those things that you use infrequently and can't be accessed by a very quick hotkey combination. It will make your day much easier and much faster. Thank you for your time. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comment section below. If you are looking for any advice on any particular topic, please feel free to throw a comment. And if you like this video, toss me a thumbs up or recommend me to your friends. Cheers.